this video, we're going to show how to remove the MedVault 2.0 circuit board and replace with the MedVault 2.5 board. The Knox MedVault 2.5 circuit board includes the following updates, automatic pin updates and audit history upload, management and reporting through Knox Connect cloud-based software, improved reliability, new circuit board design and resilient firmware, optional use of Knox eLock and Knox eKey as an additional access method or override. Please take the following safety precautions. Always turn off power to the med vault when removing and installing circuit boards. Knox also strongly recommends that you wear safety glasses and use a grounding strap while installing the circuit board. The tools and materials needed for the installation include the following items. Number two Phillips screwdriver for 1032 and 632 screws, flathead 332 screwdriver, fine point wire cutters, Knox MedVault Tech Key, Knox MedVault 2.5 Retrofit Kit, which contains a new circuit board and all additional materials needed to remove and replace the board. If you do not have a Knox MedVault Tech Key, please call Knox Technical Support and they can assist. They can be reached at 800-552-552. 5669. The first step is to ensure the med vault door is open. Remove the screws from the service panel Disconnect the power first and then the coax connection for the antenna. Next, remove the two screws that secure the tech key cover. Use your Knox tech key to unlock the back cover. Remove the nine screws from the back plate by using a number two screwdriver. If your med vault is equipped with a Wi-Fi, remove the top Wi-Fi board gently by rocking it back and forth. Next step is to disconnect the lead wires. First use a screwdriver to loosen the screws on the terminal block and remove all three wires. Remove the Kapton tape from the keypad display connection and a peripheral I.O. connector. Use a number two screwdriver to remove the screws from the top of the circuit board. Remove the Ethernet connector from the board. Now the old circuit board can be removed from the med vault. Once a board is removed, snip the cable tie holding the wiring bundle. Be sure to use a fine point wire cutter so that no other wires are cut. You're now ready to install the new med vault 2.5 circuit board. The connectors from left to right on the board are the Ethernet, keypad display, and the I.O. connector. Carefully install the keypad display connection. If installed incorrectly, the keypad will not function properly. Carefully lift the black tab up perpendicular to the board. Insert the blue cable firmly. Next, gently push down on the black tab to secure the keypad display connector. Now you're ready to apply Kapton tape to the keypad display connection and the I.O. connection. Kapton tape is included in the retrofit kit. Fasten a circuit board in place. Use the original med vault screws for two of the locations. For the third location, near the terminal block, use a screw that is included in the retrofit kit. 
At this point, you're ready to place the wires back into the terminal block. The first wire to install is a black ground wire, which is in position number 5 in a terminal block. Insert the wire into the terminal block and tighten with a screwdriver. The second wire to install is the red power wire in position number 4. The last wire to install is a yellow light wire in position number 1. Ensure the wires are installed in the correct positions in the terminal block. Secure the reset switch wire by using a cable tie. The reset switch will not be needed with a new circuit board. Move the antenna cable into the service panel area. Install the tech lock. Install the tech lock cover. Reconnect the power to the med vault. Now you are ready to power up the med vault and set up Knox Connect cloud-based software system. Please refer to the Knox Connect guide for setting up your med vault. For additional assistance, contact technical support at 800-552-5669 or at tech support at knoxbox.com. To learn more about Knox products, visit knoxbox.com.